Hi, welcome back to the Box of Delights and welcome to the Pazuli Arena where we're playing Hoplomarchus, The Lost Cities. I've set up for round two and I'm not going to walk you through all the details, but basically I've reshuffled all the arena units. I've drawn three and these go in traps two, three and four this time. I've drawn a new random boss. Let's see what we've got. It's a beast boss this time, Mulhegan, the dragon lizard, and he needs nine health chips. Our units for the arena, we've got a beast, a criminal, and another beast. I've reset the crowd favour rewards. My champion is still inactive with his 10 health and I'm going to deploy him I think just where I did last time I've drawn one random tactic and this time we get bolster health and our six random units are a defender an archer Attacker, Dimicarus, another attacker, and finally another Dimicarus. So we're all ready to go, let's start round one, and I'm going to begin, as I did previously, by bringing out a defender to support my champion. I've got just one, we'll give him his five health chips. Now it's time for the arena, and I'm going to begin with this criminal, I think. So let's roll one die, and it's a three. So he's going to move one space forward. It's either here or here. I'm going to keep him on this track, I think. Right, one space forward. Next, this beast. It's two dice. It's a two and a one. He's moving this direction, right, this one. I want to try and go after these guys if I can. So six, and then three's back where he came from. I mean, you may be wondering, what's the point of these guys doing this little can-can? Well, let's assume I had a unit here. Because they've got combat locked, if he was to do the, the six and move there, he wouldn't actually take the three and move back because he's combat locked, he would no longer move any further. So that's why you know, he may roll two dice, but he may only move one. Um, boss next. And our boss is a beast, so we roll two dice. And we get a six and a one, so that's six. And one. We'll take him off the arena. Now we have to roll for the boss's attack, which is called Swing Rush. And Swing Rush says that he moves adjacent to the furthest opposing unit and instantly does three damage. And we can choose the hex that he moves to. So that's on a roll of a six. On a one to five, he'll do his base attack. Let's roll a dice and hopefully. We'll get a 1 to 5. Yeah, okay, we're good. So he's not going to attack. My turn now. This time I'm going to take my archer, I think. And I think we'll go after this beast here. Let's deploy here. And move this defender around here. And now with the attack phase. I'm going to use the defender's reposition and our archer's first strike ability, which means I can attack on the turn I'm deployed, and I'm, and I'm using the basic attack of one black and one yellow dice against this beast here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, just one hit. Never mind. All right, that's one down. Arena's turn now. 
And let's go for moving this guy first. Well, on two dice. What I don't want him is to come in here. It's a four and a six. Four's this direction, six is this direction. Let's do the same for this beast over here. A three and a five. So it's three, five. And let's roll for this beast. It's a four and a six, which is going to move him this way and then this way. And finally, let's move this criminal so it's one die for him. And it's a five, so it's one space closer. So I can move him either here or here. Let's, let's pop him down into range of my archer. And then once more, roll for the attack of the boss. Anything but a six, please. There's a two. We're good. We're good. Right, my turn again. Well, I'm a bit limited. I've got two attackers and two Dimicaras, so it's not a great deal of choice there. It just depends which one I prefer to get out first. I think it's going to be my attackers. And I think we'll deploy... Yeah, I think we'll deploy here. Actually, let's go here. Leave room for the archer to move back if he needs to. Attack phase now. I'm leaving the defender there. Let's just use my archer once more. So it's a black and a yellow on this beast. Alright, there we go. That's better. Two hits. He's down to one health. Okay. Marina's turn. I think we'll try moving this beast first. It's a five and a six. So five is this way. Six would be here, but he's not moving because he's locked onto this archer. Okay, let's roll for this criminal. That's a two, so he's moving forward engaging with my champion. This beast up here. It's a one and a two. So that's this way. And then a two is this way. Let's do the same for the boss. A three and a six. That's three and a six. And there's our attacks. Let's roll for the boss first. Anything but a six, please. Oh! It's a six. Okay. So he's going to attack with his swing rush. He moves adjacent to the farthest opposing unit, which I think is going to be our attacker. And I can place him here, here, or here. I'm going to place him here. And he'll do three damage to my attacker, which is going to kill him, unfortunately. But it does have retaliate. Do I want to put him here? Mm, he's a beast. Yeah, so that's three damage. He's destroyed, and then we'll take one away for retaliate. I'm a bit worried about my archer now. He's only got to. How did he end up with so many health chips? He should only have two. Two. Don't know why I put five on there. This beast is going to attack now, and it's got a black, blue, and yellow. Let's roll. Way There we go! You can't ask for a better roll than that. Let's do the same for the criminal now. He's attacking our champion this time. Oh! 
<laughs> I go from all nothings to all hits. All right, well, I'm going to take those three on my defender. So he's down to two health remaining. It's back to my turn. Last time I deployed my attacker, and he's already out of here. So um, what can I do now? I can't move my archer because he's combat locked. I think I'm going to deploy. I'm going to deploy one of my Dimacaris. So let's grab this guy. And three health chips, and let's place him here. Next, I'm going to grab my bolster health. Tactic. It says add two health to a friendly non-champion unit. So I'm going to spend this, grab two health chips, and place them on this defender. So at least he'll keep my champion safe for another turn or two. I'm going to leave the defender where he is still, and just use my archer now to take out this beast. I think. So that's a black and a yellow, and I only need one hit. No! That's dreadful luck. I can't even get one hit. Ah, oh, man, that's really gonna hurt. That's really gonna hurt. Goodness. Okay, let's move the arena units. Let's start with this beast over here. A three and a two means he's moving this way a three and then a two this way which is making it harder for my Divacaris to chase him down this beast this beast is not moving the boss is combat locked so he can't move in there and attack my champion and our champion bound criminal is not moving so let's do the attack of uh, let's do the attack of this beast here first. One black, one blue, one yellow. I'm sure he's going to knock out this archer. Yeah. Three hits off two health. He's gone. Okay, let's do the uh, criminal next. Black, blue, yellow once more on my champion. Mm, two hits. I'm kind of tempted to take those on my champion now and activate my champion. So I think I'm going to take the two from the criminal on my champion. And now we're activated and we've got to deal this, this one's attack. Let's roll 1d6, see what type of attack it is. Kind of hoping for a 6 this time. Oh yes! <laughs> and we got one. Um, oh no. Oops, I made him out of position, he should be back over here. But he's moving anyway. He's heading to the furthest opposing unit, which is that one over there. Let's place it here. He's going to kill my Dimacaris now. Yep, that's 3... Three wounds. This is going terribly, terribly badly. Okay, I'm deploying my second Dimacaris and it's coming in here. And during the movement phase, I'm going to use Furiora, which removes one health from an adjacent unit. So we've killed this arena beast. Okay, that gives us two crowd favour. Let's think, I've got Enraged Furiora. And the difference between Furiora and Enraged Furiora is that this one has a range of two, but I'm going to do it here anyway. So let's do one hit on this criminal. I'm going to move my defender around here. And now we're going to attack this criminal with him and him. So let's grab one black dice for the defender. Anything. Come on, we want a hit. And yep, we got it. That's a hit. 
This is down to two. Now it's two black dice for Sol here's basic attack on the criminal. Come on. Yes, we got it. Which is good odds anyway, because it's uh, five out of six sides are, are hits. Pretty unlucky when you when you miss on a black die. Right, we've got the criminal. That means two more crowd favour. We're nearly there. 